So another week has come, and so has a really, really, really long injury report. Kick the red, double move on the red. King thing back here and I hope everybody's having a great day. I hope you guys are doing well. You know, I'm going to make this kind of a quick video because I'm about to hit you with two videos today and I got one I worked on earlier today that I want to put out tonight. Uh, but before I did that, I had to come and talk to you guys about the injury report that came out today because it just keeps getting bigger and bigger every week. It seems like we're never getting healthy. Our uh, injury report list is always getting bigger and bigger and it just seems like we can't stay healthy no matter what. Now, before we get into the whole injury report and that kind of thing, I do want to talk to you about a move the Eagles made earlier today. Uh, many of you guys probably remember Brett Toth. Toth, Toth, I can never pronounce his name right. But he was a tackle that the Eagles signed as an undrafted rookie free agent. He came in from the Army. You remember the guy that had to get the special clearance to... Um, to leave the Army earlier to try out for the Eagles, well, that's Brett Toth. And they re-signed him and brought him back because uh, when they cut him, he went to the Cardinals. The Cardinals, I guess, just waived him, and we claimed him um, from the Cardinals. So he is back on the Eagles team. He is on the 53-man roster. We had an open spot. He's claimed he's going to fill that spot so we don't have to cut anybody. And uh, I'm, I'm a little bit curious of this move. Uh, are they ready to go with Jordan Mulata the rest of the year at left tackle? Because I would. I would. If Jason Peters comes back, he could go right back to guard for all I care. Jordan Mulata did a great job. He should be the left tackle. Um, so so we'll see. But they did sign this kid. And uh, I, I want to see what the Eagles' plan is uh, at the tackle position going forward. Now... We got a big game this week. We, we got we got our first win. We're back in first place. We got the Steelers. The Eagles were back at practice today. And then uh, their practice list, to me, it's the first injury report list of the week came out. And I kind of wanted to go over it, tell you some of the names that stuck out to me and what I think. Um, so let's just jump right into it. Uh, so who did not practice today? TJ Edwards. He had a hamstring. Did not practice. I'm a little concerned about that. Uh, Rudy Ford, hamstring, did not practice. Uh, Lane Johnson, ankle, did not practice. That worries me too because he was definitely hurt against San Francisco. He toughed it out, but uh, can we expect him to do that every week or is he going to miss time? Avante Maddox, ankle, did not practice. Uh, Rodney McLeod, hamstring, did not practice. So they didn't practice today. There's a lot of people not practicing. Then you had limited uh, Fletcher Cox. He had some rest. Epps, he had a rib. I, I don't know how he has a rib. He can't even, get, he can't even tackle a guy in midair. Herbig, groin. I don't know how serious that is. He was limited. Deshaun Jackson, hamstring. Alshon Jeffrey, foot. Jason Kelsey, hip. They were all limited, uh, which I don't know if that still means they're on track to play or not. We'll talk about that in a minute. Then full practice today, J.J. Ortega Whiteside. Okay, great. Full practice means nothing. Means nothing with, with J.J. Ortega Whiteside. Matter of fact, like I said, I have a video coming later, and we will be talking about J.J. Ortega Whiteside and Howie Roseman because uh, I have an interesting observation, I believe, from Sunday night that I'm going to share with you guys. Now, as far as the injuries go, where we're at, um, I, I don't expect Deshaun Jackson to play this week. I don't expect McLeod to play this week. I don't know who else didn't practice. Uh, TJ Edwards, I don't think he's going to play this week. Any of these guys with a hamstring injury, I'm telling you, they're not going to play. I would be very surprised. Um, if Deshaun Jackson's not 100%, I don't want him playing. Because he will he will re-injure that hamstring. I'm telling you, he will. Uh, and we need him back healthy. I would like to see Deshaun Jackson at least try to make it in six games this year. Uh, you know, just being honest. Um, the, the biggest one, really... That, that concerns me, well, there's a couple. Uh, T.J. Edwards concerns me because he's the only good linebacker that is playing. Uh, Nate Gary stinks. Alex Singleton came in. I still don't think he's that great, but he's better than Gary. Um, you know, T.J. Edwards good. Uh, I don't, I'm not big on Riley. Uh, I want to see Sean Bradley, Davion Taylor. I want to see those guys get a, sh get a chance, get a shot. But will he do it? But T.J. Edwards being out is bad because he was our best linebacker. Um, Lane Johnson, definitely worry about. Avante Maddox, I'm definitely worried about. 
Um, and and I, I, I could see Maddox not playing this week, McLeod not playing this week, Lane Johnson not playing this week, Edwards not playing this week, and Jackson and Jeffrey not playing this week. So we, we got, we're pretty banged up, and we're going to have to figure it out. My hope is that these guys can play. But I, like I said, the hamstring always worries me. Usually hamstrings don't seem that bad. They can last weeks. So who knows? But this injury report is, is big, man. It's big, and, and that's just what we have to deal with. Uh, big game this week this weekend against... Uh, the Steelers, we're, we're, I think we're seven-point underdogs already. Um, I think it's going to be a close game. I think it's going to be a low-scoring game. But I think the Eagles, they're capable of winning this game. No question about it. But we got to keep an eye on, on these injuries, especially the lane, the TJ Edwards, and then, of course, the two receivers. Uh, we'll have to see what happens. But um, that's who that's that's how our injury report's looking right now. Pretty beat up. And, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. Uh, I will be back in a few hours with another video. Uh, with that said, I'm going to let you guys go. Take care. Talk to you later. And don't be a dingbat.